You know, I was a police officer in Maryland uh, for six and a half years and um, saw death all the time. Not all the time. Saw enough death to understand that life is gone in a moment. But it doesn't hit home until it hits home. My wife went into the hospital Thursday before Easter, 2017. Uh, she'd been in the hospital the whole weekend. She was having pain in her chest. We didn't know what from or why. And they told us she had stage three pancreatic cancer. And it was um, upside down all of a sudden. Everything. Everything. You know, the shock was, what are we gonna do? This, this, this cancer thing is, is a rough roller coaster ride. You have to lean on God. You have to lean on God. He's the only thing that got me through it. And she uh, had a lot of highs. We thought we had made it through. We thought we had got through it. And then, and then I love When the reality that life is really short, when that reality is in your face, everything changes. And the one thing we did was we slowed down. All the kids were in sports and cheer and football. You know, you name it, we did it, and we were always gone, splitting the family. We live realized that, that we needed to change a lot. Our intentions were more based in the family rather than you go there, I go there, you cover that, I cover this. It was we're going to do. Uh, and the planning for the, the year-long plan, those went out the window. We're doing weekends now. You know, hey, next weekend we're gonna do this. Now we're saving up for next Christmas to go somewhere. We slowed down. We slowed down, we started, we hung out together. We hung out together. Yeah, and on February 12, 2019, um, Erica went home to Jesus. She went home to be with the Lord. Remember Erica's memorial service, I spoke at her service. And I told my three kids, I said, you know, listen, we cannot, I will not allow mommy's passing change what's gonna happen in your life. This cannot be an excuse to be failure. It cannot be an excuse to give up. You can't be angry at the world. Um, and so my job is gonna to be to show you that you gotta keep focused on God. You gotta stay with God. God is gonna lead you as long as you follow. When you realize that it's only between you and God, it's all only between you and God. There are 10 billion people, 9 billion people, whatever it is. God ain't gonna ask me for one thing when I go to see him. What did you do? He not gonna ask me about Erica. He not gonna ask me about my three kids. He not gonna ask me about my mom and dad. He's gonna say, Mark, what did you do? When I came to you, what did you do? And I'm gonna tell him, I did what you told me to do, God. So I'm good. <laughs>